How beautiful and amazing is it here? And I'm not just talking about Evo's face. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of our Sims 4 Broken Dream series. This episode is also going to be a little bit different because if you guys can see, I now have the Sims 4 Jungle Adventure. So we are venturing into Selvadorada. Selvadorada, I think that's the right way to see it. So we can try traditional foods, dance, listen to new music, practice the native customs, shop for, shop for decor, dress our Sims in the local fashions, which could be quite interesting. There's also a hidden temple to discover and adventure inside as well. We can explore the jungle. And there's loads of new artifacts for us to collect. So you're probably wondering, how do we weave, look how beautiful it looks. How do we weave this amazing new world into our Sims 4 Broken Dream series? Because you guys remember in the last episode, Abel had run away from home. We managed to track him down. And he was actually out in the wilderness trying to like recover, trying to like work on himself and just take a little bit of time out from real life for himself. And it was actually Erica that managed to find Abel. As soon as he saw her, his face kind of lit up. He definitely improved his mood massively and I think the first thing she would have done after visiting him is call Lily Bear back. Lily who actually was the one who got in touch with Erica and said, Abel's gone missing, can you keep an eye out for him? I think she would get back in touch with Lilith and let her know exactly where Abel is. So, with that in mind, I think we go back to the Villarreal household and in particular, back to Lilith, who I think will have a little bit of a plan to spend a bit of time with Abel, not force him to go back home yet, but definitely do something with him that will help him get back to his normal self again and basically be an awesome big sister. So if you guys are excited for this episode, please give it a little cheeky thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below and we are definitely going to be doing that new jungle DLC. So back in the home, here is little cheeky lily bear getting her call That's from Erica to say, Abel is alive, he's fine, he's alive and well. The thing is though, he's still not in the greatest mindset and I think he needs a big sis to come and get him. I don't think he's ready to come home yet. Oh my gosh, Max still looking sad there. I don't think he's ready to come home yet, Lily Bear. But maybe there's something else that you have in mind. At least go and see him. So I think that is what we're going to do with little Lil Staruni. Let's go ahead, get her to do a travel on her own. I think bringing mum and dad over is a little bit much yet. Whereas I think Lilith's a little bit more neutral, isn't she? So I think we go ahead and get her to head out too. Oh man, I've just realized I need to do it as in it's like a little vacation. Okay, we can do it as vacay. That's not a problem. <gasps> and look, there's the new Salvadora world. Oh wait, I don't want to travel with the whole fams. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm going to get this right. I promise you. Even Lilith's like exacerbated with me. So that's the new Selva. Selva Dorada. It's not the easiest word to say, but for now, we need to go ahead and bring back Lil Abel. It won't let us vacay there because that's where he is currently. That's actually where Erica and her family are vacaying, but it's fine because we're literally going there just to bring him back. And luckily for Lilith, she doesn't exactly need to call into work and be like, oh, I need to take a few days off because the little madame still does not have a job. Okay, so here she is out in the wilderness, which means now she can go ahead and do a little bit of a travel. It knows Abel is nearby. In fact, how nearby is he? If we can literally get him on our little travelerino list, she, he, he must be super close. I'm like nosying around, desperately trying to find him. Like, I know he's like camping. Is he like over here camping somewhere? But the way the game does it is it doesn't like refresh within the same kind of dealio. Like we know this is his camp, but it won't like put Abel there unless she literally goes and visits him, which is kind of annoying you guys. <gasps> Oh my gosh, <laughs> I was like, where on earth is he? And then he literally just walks over and gives her a little hug. Okay, why don't you not <laughs> forget the horseshoes for a second, you know? Abel wants to chat with you. Stop trying to do the ring toss game. He's still looking like a little bit sad, I would say. He's still not looking quite himself. But at least he is back with little family Roonies now. We saw how sad he was in the last episode. He was depressed. He was lonely. He was tense. He couldn't even fish because he was literally too tense to fish. But I do think being back with little Lily Bear is exactly what he needs. And actually, Abel, I have some even better news for you. I've got a brand new adventure 
Uh, I'm, I'm speaking as if I'm Lilith now. I have a brand new adventure that I'm going to be bringing you on. That is definitely going to take your mind off things and make you a much, much happier little bun bun. I'm not going to invite Erica on this. I think it should just be like um, a brother and sister. They're actually half brother and sister. But a brother and sister like experience for them. Oh my gosh. Why, why can't I do it within this world? Ah, I have to end the VK first. Okay, there we go. I have the two of them. So, <laughs> we're gonna try out this brand new world. Oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. Okay, so we have these new areas. We've got the Bella Misia. Misia? Missia jungle. <laughs> a jungle is teeming with wondrous sights and hidden dangers. Brave adventurers can explore the ruins of the ancient Omiskans. Omiskans. Ah, why can't I talk? Skilled sims and those equipped with gear from the marketplace will also do well here. So that's one potential place. And there's two places to stay here. What is very lucky for these guys is they have the Villa Royale Wealth Fund, which they can use. There's also jungle secrets. Determined explorers can fo who forge a path through the thick jungle can uncover secluded spots where rare treasure can be found. Local legends describe a temple that mysteriously rearranges itself hidden and deep in the Osmiscan ruins. And then also we've got their little marketplace here, the Porto Lamante or Yamante Marketplace. Come and enjoy the sights and the sounds of Salvadora. Pack some gear before heading off into the jungle or relax and experience different markets, food and culture. Oh man, which one should we go to? We have that Hillview Hideaway, $228 per day. We have the Salvadora Villa, which is $618 per day. That one's expensive. Then we've got this one up here, $554, which has peace and quiet. Which could be very, very good for little Abel. Or this one here, the Beloma, uh, Belomesia Field Station. That one's the most expensive. Why is this one so expensive? I'm so intrigued as to why this one is meant to be the best. However, this one has peace and quiet, which is exactly what we need to do for little Abel. So that is where I'm going to get them to go ahead and run. I'm going to go and put a week on. I don't know if we'll be there for a week or not. But I think this is the perfect way to get able to focus on something else. And I think in terms of discovery and achievements, that is what is going to be helping him work through this little, uh, this bout of depression and PTSD is going through. So, oh my gosh, listen, can you hear the jungle? <gasps> it's so jungly! Oh my gosh, welcome to the jungle, Lilith. Some ad handy adventure items have been added to your inventory as part of your rental package. If you plan on exploring the Bellomesia jungle, you should first stop by the marketplace to pick up some more gear. Oh my gosh, so look at this. They're literally like fully on in the jungle, you guys. Like, it doesn't get much more junglerific than this. You can even see like ruins and stuff behind them. And this is their cute little villa. <gasps> How sweet is that? I love this so, so much. So let's have a little nosy inside and see exactly what this little villa is. Oh, wow. Have I got a one bedroom? Oh my gosh, thank gosh. <laughs> I thought I got them a one bedroom one, but thankfully I haven't. So this looks like some of the new stuff that you can get in the game because this all looks very, very new to my eyes. And um, we've got a little bed down here, maybe... Maybe Lilith takes ones for the team and has the downstairs room. And let's Abel have this really, really cool upstairs room. Again, with some new stuff in the in the game there as well. And this is nice because they're chit-chatting and catching up, which is really, really cute. So I think because it's pretty late at night now, maybe they just kind of chill out. Is there a pool? <gasps> there is a pool, you guys. And look at this. It's like a curved pool. I, I don't know. Could you do curvature before? Is that like a new thing they've added as well? I like it. I like it a lot. We'll go ahead and light this little fire, I think, here for little. <laughs> Able -ikins. Is there like a little bar or anything that they can just grab a little a little nightcap? I don't know if there is. I think this is a beautiful villa which comes equipped with precisely zero bars. Look at this, it's like an ancient artifact on the wall as well, which is pretty cool. Look at the weird like little bunny uh like skeleton thing inside it. And I've got these guys just to have a little chat together. I've asked uh, Lur to give Abel some family advice. I think this place here is gonna be like the perfect place for them to sort of her to give Abel some good advice. And for just to put this absolute <laughs> cute baby song, who's... Quink, I love him, I love him quink, so much. <laughs> and I also, also love uh, Lilith. I love putting Lilith in my thumbnails because she pulls the best expressions. 
And she's like a cute little doll. So I think it's Ooh, nice that these guys you. just get the chance to joke around, have some fun and catch up. But it is getting a little bit late and I think they should have an early start if they want to explore the jungle. So I'm going to go ahead, get her able to claim and sleep in this bed. And I'm going to get Lily Bear to come downstairs. She can claim this bed here. And I'm also just going to get her to come down and sit at the side of the bed. She's brought a book with her. She's pretty keen on reading while she's here. But also, I would like her to just now go ahead, ring Emma, and also uh, ring Max, and just have a little chit chat with them both. Where are you going, friendo? She even wants to put the book away. Fair play to you. No, don't do it in the room that Abel's in. He's gonna know. <gasps> and Emma, okay, fine. They say they're sleeping. They say they're sleeping, guys. They ain't even interested. Let's come downstairs, sit on the bed. And why don't you just go ahead and send them both a text instead? Just say like, look, I'm here. I'm with Abel. He's all alive and well. I've used your money to go on a little vacay with them. And I'm gonna get our little boyo back to health and happiness. Because for all Lilith's faults, you can never deny the fact that she loves Abel a lot. Which is nice. And because she's like his big sister, and I have a little- Oh, look at this. People getting married. They look too similar to get married, actually. Uh, because she is like his big sister and I have a little brother, I kind of like the idea that she's got like this really- This relationship where she looks after him and he's very loving with him. Because that's how I feel about my, my little brother as well, you guys. Okay, so it's starting to- the sun is coming out. This is the first time we've seen it in the sun, you guys. Look how pretty this place is. I love, like, the really, really cool environments in Sims. We've literally got, like, a ruins right above us that I really want those guys to explore. And look at that. How cool is that? <gasps> I love this new DLC so far. I wasn't a huge fan of World Adventures in the old one because I found the loading times were just a little bit too much. But I'm hoping in this one, they're going to be a little bit better. So I think maybe um, we'll get Abel to start the day swimming some laps. I think that'll be really, really good for his like headspace. And then look at this cool new fridge. I'll get Lily Bear to go ahead and serve some healthy breakfast. And then I actually think they both need to change their outfits into something a little bit more adventure you know, because I'm not sure about you guys, but I don't really think Lilith should be adventuring in like high heels and a mini skirt. I don't know, they're just not really the clothes I personally would choose to go into a temple with, if I'm being honest with you guys. But this is nice, because she's making breakfast. It lets resident little cutie pie Abel do some little laps for himself. Look, look at that, swimming straight through us. <gasps> look, he didn't want to bang into us, he turned around. He's very thoughtful like that, is our little baby Abel. So he's out there getting the, the max kind of body that, you know, it's just the way the Villarreal's do it. They're pretty, they're a buff, they're a buff creature, if you get my drift. And in here, little Lily Bear is making a beautiful, healthy breakfast for them. I know it's like, it looks so hot, so I don't know why there's fires everywhere. But I like the idea that there's fires everywhere, you guys. Oh, she's also put on some music for them. Abel, you need to come inside and why can't you grab a serving? Can't do this while in a pool. Well, come out the pool then, friendo. There you go. There you go. Come out the pool and grab yourself a little serving of breakfast. I mean, you guys as well, I think, I feel like you should be sitting here to eat. There you go. There you go. Come and sit here to eat as well, Abel. And how cute are they both oh, no. just start having oh. their little breakfast together, <laughs> ready for their little jungle and adventure and look at that. Abel's, Abel's little swimming is clearly, clearly doing a good job. And I always think that Lily Bear looks sure, so cute without her makeup day. on. She looks cute with and without her makeup. Up She's just that damn Swim cute, you guys. Well. Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and get them to go and uh, plan their little outfits with the little dresser so that they can make sure they're looking super adventurous. And it also gives me the chance to check out some of the new clothes that come with this DLC pack. And the new music, listen. You hear the new music? It's like all like a Coco Cabana kind of style. Okay, so for the content part, let's do it just from the new pack, which is obviously gonna be Jungle Adventure. I nearly forgot it then. Okay, so here are the new tops and stuff. I think Lily Bear will probably go for the one that shows off a little bit of Tum Tum, but I'll just show you them all quickly. So these are all the new little tops that come with, oh, look at that one as well. She looks like very flower child in that. That one's very boobalicious and cool. They're all like nice, nice new clothes actually. I don't think you're part of that pack. You, you should stop hiding. And then these are like the long, longer kind of ones, the dress sort of things. We've got two. We've got this super cute dress for on an evening. And this like, ooh, like adventure explorer dress as well. And then for the trousers, we've got this kind of a dealio. Oh, look at that. 
<gasps> That's so Tomb Raider. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, we have to have to put her in like a Tomb Raider inspired outfit, you guys. Especially with the movie coming out so soon. <gasps> Look how badass she looks. I'm kind of thinking that she probably could do with her hair being tied up. But I don't know if I have any tied up hairstyles that are the same color as her hair. I mean, that one's probably the most similar. Unless we put her back to her old hairstyle and then I can tie it up like that. It makes it super long. But I just feel like your hair should be tied up if you're on a jungle adventure, you know? Or there's that. Or there's her super long hair. It's kind of a bit crazy, that hair, though, isn't it? Now, I'm gonna- I'm just gonna leave the hair as it is for now, because I kind of want your feedback in the comments. Okay, Abel. Look at Abel. Actually, you know what? One thing I'm gonna do as well is give her- For her formal look, I am just gonna give her this pretty dress. Ah. So that if they do decide to kind of go out, um, and like, on the town on an evening together, she can be wearing this cool new dress. And I think she needs flip-flops for that. It's so funny seeing her in like such a relaxed dress. Because she does not usually dress like that. Okay, so this is the guy's jungle adventure stuff. Oh, I need to take off his jacket. There we go. So this is the guy's stuff. I, I think I probably prefer the girl's stuff a little bit. But it is like... That, not that one, ignore that battle one. I mean, that's very, like, Indiana Jonesy kind of vibes, isn't it? Especially if you do it in, like, like this kind of a color. Okay, he's totally rocking that. He is totally rocking that. These are the bottoms for them. That one's got, like, a little llama on the thing. I, uh, I would prefer it if it was a little bit more low around the waist. Okay, we can make them look so cool, you guys. Maybe he goes for, like, a darker one. Look at that. Look at, look at that butt. Look at that. He's looking really, really good. Um, And then this is the full body one. Okay, there's no full body one with them. Let's see what shoes they gave him, actually. Okay, they gave him adventure boots, you guys. Like, if I take these off, you can see them. They're, like, little adventure boots. Okay. Okay, we have to, have to get him dressed like that because he looks so cool. It, did they give us any like cool uh, necklaces or anything? Oh, there's no new necklaces and stuff. But I think he looks cool. And then maybe for on an evening, I kind of want them to like look like they're, you know, making a little bit of an effort to be like dressed in the customs of where they are. So I might give him a, maybe like this kind of a vibe, you know? Don't like those trousers for on a night though. I think he needs some like cargo shorts, like this kind of a vibe. He looks very much, he needs some flip flops as well. I always just think if you go abroad and you, um, you get dressed up, you don't do it the same way as you would do well, I'm saying this is a UK person because we don't see the sun that often. So I kind of want to give him flip-flops like he's abroad somewhere hot. Okay, so we've got Abel's day look looking so badass. He needs a bracelet, doesn't he? There we go. And then we've got Lilith's day look. As oh, that's her former look. Lily Bear's look as well. She needs a bracelet too. She looks so cool. Like, I actually can't handle how cool she looks. She looks amazing. Ah! I love this pack so much. Okay, Abel, hurry up and eat up your breakfast, please. We are so ready for an adventure. In fact, we probably need to get quick showers and stuff, don't we? Let's get a nice little shower and stuff so we're, we're probably going to sweat again pretty quickly. Okay, dancing. Why are you doing a dance for Lilith? <laughs> we're probably going to get a little bit stinky because it's humid in the jungle, you know? Oh, look, more artifacts on the wall. But still, you kind of at least want to start the day fresh, don't you? Lilith's, uh, sorry, Abel's been for a swim, so he is looking pretty fresh as it is. Although he could go for a wee, you know? And look at this, you guys. Abel is happy. He is happy. He's got good food. He's, in a, he's had a pleasant conversation. He's got a cozy fire. Lily Bear, you need to come out here. And change into the correct outfit. Your badass Lara Croft outfit. Come out here into the sun. I want to see you in person. I want to see you amongst the trees. So here they both are, you guys. In the jungle. In their cool outfits. They look so awesome. Like, they literally look so awesome together. Oh my gosh. I think they're awesome. I say the word awesome an awful lot. And look, these are some of the new stuff. Why don't you just go go ahead and gather this? Because, you know, you may as well while you're here. Oh, he's found some old tranium. And then I think we need to go ahead into the town and buy some supplies. It's 11 a.m. already, you guys. Let's do ourselves a little travel. Okay, so where do I go to buy supplies? Swing by the marketplace right by the katina. <gasps> okay, so this is the katina. Okay, so we're gonna go buy some supplies. 
I think I want to spend so much time in this jungle that I'm gonna have to break it up into a couple of episodes for sure. So you'll be able to let me know for the next one what else we should do. Okay, so this is the little katina, which is where you grab food and drinks. Oh wow, listen, very Mexican vibes. But we're not here for drinking right now, we're here for the marketplace. <gasps> okay, so this is our little marketplace. So Lily Bear, why don't- is this where we are? Oh no, this is for food and drink. Where do we actually buy the supplies that we need to adventure? Or have I just kind of made that up in my head a little bit? Oh my gosh, there's like a whole like little- little like farmy house and stuff here. How cool is that? It's like full on where the locals live. I would go on this holiday in a heartbeat, you guys. Like you would- you'd have to hold me back. Oh my gosh. Can they just like go here and just appreciate this view together? Because this place is amazing. This Literally, I'm looking at a rainbow. As we speak, there is literally a rainbow. You guys, you guys are so lucky to be here. I'm actually so jealous. Look at this. These guys are happy to be here as well. The absolute cutie pies. I love these two so much. I love this place. Like literally, look at that you guys. How beautiful and amazing is it here? And I'm not just talking about Abel's face. Okay, so that's the bathroom and stuff. But where do I buy supplies? There's some like little ships down here. There's a place to fish, but I'm not sure where I'm sp Okay, okay, this guy is selling some stuff. Oh wow, look, you can buy like these little dolls and stuff. Liquid rush, what is that? Re grilled cheese, ready to eat, okay. I'm definitely gonna get them to go ahead and just buy loads of supplies. Buy themselves a little doll. Oh look at these people, people are getting everything. Quick, buy stuff. Okay, we're buying a few little bits of bobs, you guys. I'm hoping this is gonna be like what we need. Oh, I should have haggled. Oh, we got 150,000 simoleons. We don't need to be haggling. Give these guys the price that they asked for, you know? And let's see what exactly liquid rush is. More energy. Oh, it's a great item to take on long hikes. Okay, let's go ahead and buy some more then. Be quickly, before this person does. Buy it! Quick, 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 quick! There we go. Okay, we've got our supplies from the marketplace. It's already the afternoon. So as much as I'd love to go and hang out in the bar, I think if we're gonna adventure, we need to go ahead and do it now. So, we have a few, I guess, different places that we can go, but I think... How do we get to them? Do we have to go, like, there's this little question mark thing here. Do you, ha do you reckon you have to go to the national park? I think you go from here to the other places. So let's go ahead and go to the jungle national park. <laughs> okay, here we go. The below, below, the trailhead, you guys. And that, to me, <gasps> that to me looks like, oh my gosh, quick. Have you got a machete? Clear the path. Why- why has Lilith got a machete but Abel doesn't? That's such classic Lilith. Like, oh, I wonder which of our sims might actually just have a machete. Oh yeah, it would be Lilith. Of course, why would it not be Lilith? Of course she's gonna have a machete. She is macheteing things up over there. Whereas little Abel's kind of like, Oh, I'll just sit and watch. She had this look of some real scary work. And I literally feel like I'm in a Tomb Raider game right now. Which is amazing, because I love Tomb Raider games. So this is all very exciting. We're kind of leaving, uh, ooh, read this and read the preparation checklist. <gasps> oh my gosh, is that it? We're through? <gasps> Lilith, 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 where's she just gone? Travel through. <gasps> you have to consult with local sims for antidotes. <gasps> oh my gosh, Lilith's gone through. Suddenly, sloth. As Lilith rounds a the corner, there is a stillness in the air. She looks up and notices a bed of sloths watching her. Does anybody else think that sloths would actually be really cute? And you kind of want to hug one, but they'd also be really smelly. That's my thoughts on sloths. Just thought I'd share them. Lilith is distracted for a moment and walks into a low-hanging branch, releasing a small band of fiery flies, which fly at the sloths and begin bothering them, scorching their fur in spots. What should Lilith do? Um, okay, she doesn't have this Drake's fire quencher. <gasps> But she can distract the flies with a dance, but she doesn't have enough culture skill. Try anyway. I'm sure you're a great dancer, Lilith. She starts making noise as she embarks on the local dance, hoping to distract the flies from the sloths. The moves work. She's had no training. Check you out, Lily Bear. Uh, and the flies are confused by the whirling figure below and decide to fly off. A moment later, a crystal drops from one of the trees. And as Lilith looks up and locks eyes with one of the especially friendly to sloths, it winks back at her. Okay, kind of weird. Oh, wow. Are we at the other side? 
Is this? We're through. <gasps> oh my gosh, we're through. Where's Abel though? Abel's all the way back down here. Oh my gosh. And Lily is all the way up here feeling playful. Where's she gone? From her sloth wink. Okay, can we get him to come here? Abel, we need you to adventure with us. There we go. They're adventuring together, you guys. <gasps> and look, what's this over here? Oh, it's a lamp. Oh my gosh, there's another uh, path here to be cleared. What else is around this area? How can you be bored? How can you be bored here, Abel? Julie. What is wrong with you? Oh, look at this. Holiday snaps together, oh, you uh, guys. You I love that. Actually, the cutest thing I've ever seen. Okay, there's like this little rickety sort of uh, pathway up here. Should I get them to go over here together? <gasps> oh my god, a slivering snake. Did you see it? Did you see the slivering snake? Oh, <gasps> I did, you guys. And there's also this. Okay, let's get you in a better mood, Abel. Why don't you do a little bit of excavation? Are they walking across this bridge, guys? Okay, here they come. Here they come across the bridge together. Oh my gosh. I love this. Ah, look at him go. Yay. Two raiders together. It's, um, what's the guy? Nathan Drake and Lara Croft. Okay, he's in a flirty mood. Why are you in a flirty mood? From being near a scenic waterfall. He's excavating that. And Lily Bear's just coming, sitting and chatting with him and helping him. Can we even excavate it together? Okay, it's a one-man job, but he's getting some of the archaeology skill. Maybe this could be a career for him, you know? I'm a little bit worried about the snake coming out and getting him. But she is keeping him comfy. They're both in a... Oh, you can fertilize this tree. Does that mean she's going to go do a little wee in it? Is that what this means, you guys? I kind of am thinking that's exactly what it means. What are you doing? What are you doing? <gasps> Lilith's weeing! Lilith's weeing in the bush! Oh my gosh, is your bladder low, Abel? Yours is okay. Lilith will love that because she's like a bit of a devious sim. So I think she would actually be so down for that. Okay, more machete in for you. And what have we managed to excavate so far? Let's have a little cheeky look. I can see some pots and uh, other kind of pottery kind of things in there. I'm not sure how much Abel's enjoyed it. It looks kind of hard work, but I think he's contented. Sometimes if you're in a bit of a down mood, the best thing you can do is actually get something to distract you. He's found a balamosphalic relic. Well done. Lily Bear's still hacking away. Abel, why don't we go here? And oh, <gasps> she found her way through. She's so good at this. Okay, she's off for like the next part of the adventure, I think. Hopefully we're gonna be able to get through. We might not be able to get through both of them. Okay, abandoned pack. Lilith stumbles on what appears to be an abandoned campsite. Clearly a previous adventurer had been through here as the remains of a small fire and an old tattered knapsack. There may be something valuable inside or something dangerous. Should she investigate? She could search using her machete, but then it would consume her machete. She can leave it alone or she can search for useful gear. High logic would help her here. I don't think she has high logic, but let's still search for useful gear. <gasps> oh no! Lilith takes a look at the pack and decides it's pretty safe as she opens it. A poisonous spore, so scorpion crawls out and stings her on the arm. Lilith is poisoned and in a lot of pain. Oh no, you guys, look at the bees! Bees! <laughs> it's like the Oprah thing and look at that. Lilith is poisoned, you guys. I mean, she seems pretty happy about the whole thing, which is sort of weird. But still, not great that she is actually poisoned. Can we, like, help her? Oh, no. We need, like, to find an antidote. But there's nobody here to ask for one. Ooh, what's this? There's a little, like, tree. <gasps> View the tree of emotions. Look at this. It's got, like, some weird berries on it. And look at this view, by the way. <gasps> look at that. That looks like some kind of special... That's the same as the things that are in our, um, in our little lodgings, aren't they? Let's walk to the edge of this and, like, look out. Look at that. Amazing, beautiful views, you guys. And not just of Abel. I think you should harvest things from the Tree of Emotions, Abel. And then, Lily Bear, what can we get you to do? Maybe you could do a little excavation. There's something here to excavate. And there's quite a few different directions we could go from here. So, look, there's some vines here. There's some more vines over there. And there's also some vines here too. These ones I think will go inside a temple. What, is it, what are you doing? Oh, look at him. He's cloud gazing. Like what an awesome place to cloud gaze as well. Because like 
He's here enjoying himself, looking super, super cute. And he's got all this beautifulness around him to gaze on. Look at that. Oh, guys, why isn't it, like, easier just to, like, go to the jungle, you know? Oh, she's feeling icky from being stung, by the way, you guys. And Abel's told us some kind of juicy secret. I wonder if it's actually a secret about Erica. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get Abel to clear the next one. He's gonna clear the path with his, with his hands. I have no idea why Lilith has a machete and he doesn't, but that's actually hilarious. But he's gonna try and clear it with his hands. It's probably gonna be a much, much harder job to actually try and clear it with your hands though. So I think this poor little kiddo could be at this for a while. I'm kinda just seeing him from through the tangles. Go on, Abel. I believe in you, kiddo. You've got this. Look at- Oh no, he's getting attacked by mosquitoes. That's literally my idea of hell. But he's quite a buff guy. Like, he's done a few little gyms for himself. He's been jogging a few times. So his fitness is fairly good. I feel like he's got this. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Lilith! She's- Like, little Abel's excavating. Finds himself, like, a nice little pot or something. Lilith goes excavating. Finds another mach an a knife? Where was it? Where was the knife? An unauthenticated knife. What is she even like? What is she even like? Oh, a swarm of bees is descending on Lilith without the gum gull zamilet polinis flower to distract them. Oh no! Oh my god. Oh my god, could she die from the bees? She's been swarmed by bees! Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. How can I save her? Is she gonna die? They may just be at their mercy. No! Is she gonna die? No! Lilith, get away from the bees! Get away from the bees! <gasps> he got an injured hand from clearing the path and he got stung by the bees! Oh my gosh, guys, you clearly, clearly don't run away from home. You clearly need high logic skills to try and survive this jungle, which neither of them have. They both now, like, Lilith's been stung and poisoned by bees. Like, look at her. She does not look in a great state. And then Abel has been stung by bees. Where's he gone? He's been stung by bees. And he's hurt his little hand from trying to clear it with his hands. This was meant to make him feel better, you guys. But as of right now, he's looking pretty sad. However, look at that. She is straight through here. Oh my god. She threw her machete out of her hands and it was lost in the thick jungle from being too enthusiastic with her machete. Typical lily bear. <gasps> Capybara and the bees, I was it Capybara. They're meant to be the loveliest, friendliest animal in the whole world. I want to meet one and her and, and the Capy Capybara and Evie to be friends. Okay, while blazing a train in the jungle, Lilith comes across a small group of Capybaras, Capybaras, hanging out at the watering hole. As she observes them, she notices one of them is approaching a swarm of bees. The Capybara doesn't notice the imp impending danger. What should Lilith do? Oh my gosh. The thing is, she has literally already just been stung by bees. But if it's saving Capybara, she's gonna do it. Scare them off, Lilith. <gasps> She jumps in trying to catch the bees' attention. They run in her direction and she runs off in a chaotic fashion. And so the bees are confused and lost. And she takes a moment at the edge of the watering hole to breathe. She looks down and finds an ancient treasure at the bottom. Would you like to send Lilith to the temple on her own? Oh my gosh, thank gosh. I thought Ava wasn't going to be able to come with her. We're in the temple, you guys! We're in the temple! I'm so excited! Where do we get all these flowers and stuff from? I don't understand where we're meant to be buying those from. Maybe it was at that stalls, but they just weren't all there. Oh my gosh, you guys. We're at the temple. We are literally at the temple right now. What is there around here then? Let's just explore the outside there quickly first. She's quietly looking around the temple. She's looking so bad with that poison in, isn't she? Okay, there's some things to excavate here. Abel's in a bad mood, bless him, because of all his like stinging and stuff. <gasps> and then look at this. This is inside the temple. Oh my gosh. That looks really, really dangerous. But I want to go through it because I want There's some stairs down there. Oh my gosh. This could be super dangerous if we're not careful, you guys. There's loads of things to like, excavate and dig around here, though. <gasps> and look, there's some sort of. Uh, I bet you have to like place these in a certain order. And maybe that will get rid of the electricity. I have to be careful though, because I can't let anybody die. There's a downstairs to this temple as well. In fact, 
How far does this temple go? Because look, the downstairs like comes through. Oh my gosh, sorry. I'm controlling this really strangely. Comes through into here. There's something crazy in there. And there's also an upstairs to it as well. Okay, so there's a whole temple to explore. But this is clearly where we want to be going. But like, how do we even get in there? I don't want him to get hurt. There's also like, oh, what's with all this music stuff over here? And of course there's a bar. I don't get it. Why is there music systems? That's so weird. Why are they here? Should I turn them on? Do you think that's like part of the thing you have to do? If I put all three of them on, will it do something? That's so weird. I really don't get why they're all here. Okay, they're all playing music. I don't know if it does anything, but just in case it does. And these guys have obviously now got themselves a little glass of wine. Because what is exploring if you don't have a little glass of wine to enjoy it with, you know? They're just like dancing to the creepy music. And there's all these different glyphs that you could make. Look, if I do this, it's ma like making offerings to different glyphs. So that one's got to be the sun, because I can see like, can you see there? There's like a sun at the front. So if we make an offering to the sun glyph, and then this one, oh man, they're kind of hard to see. That looks like corn or leaves. That one looks like a tree. That one looks like vines. Oh, arrowheads. Okay, that one's arrowheads. That one is maybe, oh, oh, <gasps> oh my gosh. What happened? Lilith just got bone dusted from activating the temple defenses. <laughs> what the heck even is bone dust? Okay, is that a good thing or a bad thing? <gasps> oh my gosh. We did it! Let us bypass the temple's defenses and the gate is now opened! Let us can venture further into the temple and see what is uh see what lies beneath. And she's also got the blessing of the ancients, which makes us super happy. And the joyous is infectious and can spread to others. Oh my gosh! <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, what on earth is happening? Okay, so this is what's further down in, in the temple. There's this like also don't want to go through there because you'll probably get zapped kind of thing. But then there's this room all the way here. So I think we get the guys to come here. <gasps> Abel's getting a little bit tired, but that's fine because I can get him to drink one of these. Is she tired as well? Yeah, she's a little bit tired, so I'm gonna get her to drink one as well. And then since she's got this joy thing and it's uh, infectious, I think she should try and spread the joy to Abel as well. Look. Flesh? Blessing of the ancients. Oh. Hopefully oh. we're spreading that ancient happiness oh. over to Abel as well. Oh, look at them taking little pictures in the in the temple together. Oh, what's this? Secret bro and sis handshake as well. Okay, so. I think probably we need to activate this with, oh, there's three. So maybe we do the sun first. Let's try sun. Sun's at the top. Oh, oh, do you think we have to make them all line up? Oh, did that do something or not? No, okay, it's not the sun. Oh no, and she got dusted again. Maybe we'll try the um, tree glyphs. Oh, Lilith gained some logic skill from avoiding a disaster. Okay, nope, that one's not the right one either, you guys. Okay, Abel, you should try it now. Why don't you try the leaves one? Oh, wow, Lilith's actually leveling up her logic skill. Okay, try the leaves one. Maybe it's leaves because I don't know. I don't know. That's not the right one either. Guys, I'm clearly not great at this, am I? If it was literally the last one. Stay here, Lily Bear. Okay. Nothing happened to him, at least, so that's good. <gasps> Lily Bear's hungry. So why don't you eat some of that grilled ready-to-eat cheese? <gasps> there we go. Look, he's got the right one, you guys. Look at it go. I don't know quite what that's activated. I mean, I think maybe it stopped the door at the end. But look at this creepy, creepy skeleton, man. Ugh, it's creepy. Okay, so now they've activated that, they can go through to like the next part of the temple together which is this kind of creepy room here. Oh, we have fire again at the end. I don't know where Lily Bear's gone. And we've got this here as well. Maybe we should try and open the treasure chest. I don't know if you're gonna be strong enough to push that lid off, but give it a go. Oh, look at him go. Oh, wow. He just found some simoleons. Not bad. Okay, I'm gonna get Lily Bear to excavate that. And then we need to figure out what the next thing could be. I think it's probably something to do with this. Why don't we compliment its carvings? There's a few different options there. You can blame it, tell the skeleton pun, insult the crumbling stone. I'm gonna compliment its nice carvings first. Oh, he likes that. He likes that a lot. Oh, wow. Is that... 
Oh, that was quick! Ava, well done. You're a lot better than this uh, than uh, Lily Bear is. Why don't you go excavate that? There's another creepy skeleton here. <gasps> and he re received the blessing of self-care. He won't need to be as needy for the time being. This is going to be great for his productivity. And there's another treasure chest. Lily Bear, why don't you come and get this? There's still more to explore because look, there's another one of these rooms here where you activate the uh, blessings things. You're going to get able to study this for historical insight. This, like, creepy statue thing. No, Lily Bear does need a Wii, you guys. Oh, look at this. It's like there's, like, glitter here. Sort of, like, gold in the walls. And now she's gonna push this open as well. Oh, we've got a temple exploration complete. Lily found the ultimate treasures of the temple. She should look around for other discoveries before leaving. What did she get? She overcame a poison. She gave simoleons and some treasure and adventure gear. Oh! Look at this, she got a, a golden frog worth 10,000 simoleons. She also a, a sapphire that she got as well. She also got a mask. She got a, a calendar plate. She got a relic base. And she got some ancient bone dust. So there you go. So I think these guys, their needs are getting kind of low now. I think they'll probably want to leave the temple. But there's a lot more exploring to do. We haven't even begun. Like, there's so many more rooms that we can do. But I do think that I am going to leave it for the next episode. So guys, let me know what you thought of this episode. If you enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed the fact that Lily Bear and Abel are, are on holiday together. If you want me to do the next episode here. Please let me know in the comments below what else you'd like me to do in this DLC. And let me know your thoughts on it. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in a brand new episode of The Sims 4. Thank you guys. Bye. <laughs> Get the ship to screw But he me boom me keep I go bow 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 I got who's in my booklet See me boom me once I give how Say I knew I got by Iba Wama Siska's fool and Babu